Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hitman video sponsored by RageWorks.net. I have another Ghost Assassin run for your enjoyment. This one takes place in Bangkok. And first, I'm going to show you my loadout. We're not using any guns. I am wearing the Absolution suit, of course. I will need the fiber wire and I need the lethal poison. You have to start from the default starting location to qualify for a ghost assassin Welcome run. To and here in Bangkok we're at the Himapan Hotel. Now what does Himapan Hotel rhyme with? That's right ladies and gentlemen, it rhymes with hell. I'm going to take you on a walk through hell. Because that's what getting the Ghost Assassin Challenge in Bangkok is like. You have to use the poison here because as far as maintaining your suit only Silent Assassin, there's, there's no way to break Ken Morgan's uh, route without changing disguises. So make sure once again that you poison this specific dish, otherwise you're going to be waiting quite a long time for Ken Morgan to die. He's going to be dead. He's really already dead, but he's going to die by the time I get to the the um, the top of the staircase that leads to 47's suite. So just to break down the rules for the Ghost Assassin run, you have to start from the default starting location. You can use any weapon in your loadout. Must be suit only. You can kill only the targets. No knockouts, meaning no... Um, pacifying so you can't Morgan's dead you can't be spotted you can't even have an a, a non-playable character suspect you meaning if you know no enforcers getting question marks exclamation points or um, a full circle around their their enforcer dot you gotta watch out here make sure you go right and then go left because when those doors are open, there's a, an invisible wall and it can get you spotted by that camera. Um, you can't use any explosions. You shouldn't be making any noise really at all. And you can't toss anything for a distraction. You also cannot be recorded. That's why I'm avoiding the camera. Because you can't, you can't delete the evidence. So if you're recorded by camera, you essentially fail. So I'm just waiting for these guys to head back to the left because and I can't go the other way because the gardener's standing right there so we're using this way to get around him. Have you seen Heidi Santoro? The you gotta make ours? sure you walk so running can um, draw attention so to you and get you spotted. You know? I am going to run for a quick second in here just to beat the camera, but stop right there and walk to this couch, post up against the couch and stop right there. Keep an eye on the camera and keep an eye on this guy coming around, the one who's standing up right now. It's important in this run to keep moving. If you have kept moving like I did up to this point, right before this guy goes back to the other side, if you look at the mini map, you should see that the guy who has Dexy Barrett's note should walk into the bathroom, and the guy who has a conversation with him should be facing the, the, the big screen TV. See? Look, you, want me to deliver it? you actually can still be spotted by the guys who were stoned on the couch. And this is one of the, the breakers right here because you can accidentally vault over the front of the, the balcony, which allows them to see you, of course. And if you go too far left, and even if you vault to the, to the right place, he'll see you. You got to be very careful, but you got to start moving and by the time he's walking inside you should be climbing the pipe this is important because we're trying to set up Jordan Cross to be in a certain place at a certain time it's not super important unless you know you want to have like a 30 minute long uh, video or a 30 minute long run yep. also known as old Sparky 
almost bang. You got to wait for this guy to turn his the guy on the left, you got to wait for him to turn his head back. Want to use a mic with a notorious this, these guys right here have made me agree with the the many people who have complained about the head turn mechanic. I can't stand it right now. Wait for that guy. Make sure he's over there. Right about here, you start running. And curve around quick and just stop against the wall. Nobody should take enough notice of you. Get out your fiber wire and wait for these guys to head right. Now, if you look at the mini-map... Jordan Cross is on the move. He's come out of the booth and he's complaining with with um, Heidi. Right here, as soon as you open this door, you got to start running. You need to open this door because on the other side it's locked. Opening it will unlock it. And by the time you get back over here and go through these doors, you got to stop. That if Jordan, is Jordan Cross, Cross is not revered and reviled already visible measures. or on the steps, you you um you have him in the wrong place. Because this is right here, this is extreme timing. You have to wait till he's right behind this door. If he's anywhere else, he's gonna be seen. You you're gonna be seen killing him. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. And those guards that were over there, if you see them moving towards you before Jordan crosses on those stairs, don't do this. Wait for the next time he comes around, because you will get spotted dragging him to that door. Drop him in here. Now wait here. Wait for Dexy Barrett to come up on the right. And the guards are over there. Wait for them to go back on the left. And stuff keeps moving around in these bushes. Predator, is that you? Now on the mini-map, once the first guard starts walking away, which is right about now, I think. Yep. Walk towards the door. Don't run because you gotta wait for the other guy to go. Stop here and make sure you see the guard come towards you. Like that. If you see him walking back, you gotta wait for him. Run across and clip around real quick. Get behind the baffles here. Make sure that if the music's playing, you should be able to keep going. But if it's not, make sure they're not looking your way. You want to jump over quickly. The guy that's there should be inside at this point if you have kept it moving exactly the way I am. If not, you know, you might want to check with um, Insight just to make sure he's not on the balcony. Now this is another, another freaking pain in the ass section, just like the first time. Because you see, they're having the same conversation they already had. And looking at the mini map, you see that the guy behind me goes back out onto the balcony. You're gonna have to go back and jump over the balcony again, because if you stay there, before they finish talking and the guy goes to the bathroom, he's going to come back and see you and your run will be ruined. And you saw me struggling there. It's because I've jumped over in the wrong place so many times and been spotted. Now when he goes back in, you jump over again. And each time you come in here, walk a little bit extra slow because he's so close he can actually hear your footsteps even if you're crouched walking. Okay, so the guy went to the bathroom. Make sure this guy's looking that way to the left and then head out. You gotta be quick and stay against the wall. You see the camera went to the left so I just ran the whole way. Because the other guy was coming my way. I was pretty much caught there. I, I, I have a bad habit of panicking in that situation, but it worked out. 
Just gotta get by this gardener. Watch for that camera again. If you come up against the wall, it should not be able to spot you, but I still wait for it to go away from me. Once you go through those double doors, stand up because you have completed this challenge. All you gotta do is literally walk out the door and get in that boat. You have no idea, unless you try it, of course, how frustrating how it is to stay within the confines of the ghost assassin challenge and pull this off doing regular solid assassin suit only is cake if i didn't have to worry about you know even light suspicion i could do this in my sleep but because of that that specific complication makes this challenge ridiculous But there it is. This is the Ghost Assassin run for uh, Bangkok. Like I said, I'd like to call it a little walk through hell. Please try it and you'll see what I mean. If you don't get it the first time, you're going to be doing it a hundred times. Maybe not a hundred, but you'll see what I mean where just little things mess you up. And... Um, if you have any other challenges for me, as always, drop it in the comments. I always respond. Or um, hit me on Twitter, rw underscore slick. Join us at rageworks.net for more content. And um, I'm going to try to do the Ghost Assassin Challenge for Marrakesh and the summer bonus episode, Sapienza and Marrakesh. So look for those as well. Have a good night, people.